from Yale University. He's the former U.S. ambassador uh, to Syria. Robert Ford, thank you for speaking with us here on France 24. Uh, it's my pleasure to be with you. First of all, what do you make of uh, that th we have two things happening the same day? We've got Russia sending those two warships to the area and news that once again, John Kerry and Sergei Lavrov have been speaking on the telephone. Well, uh, the, the Russians are, are pushing hard on military progress on the ground in Syria in coordination with Syrian government forces and Iranian backed militias that are fighting on the ground, particularly up in Aleppo, but also around Damascus. Uh, and so the Russians are continuing their military buildup. It appears that they're sending some surface to air missile systems, perhaps to deter any uh, use of American uh, air power in Syria. Uh, that comes uh, today, Wednesday, when there's a meeting at the White House at the level of cabinet uh, secretary, ministerial level in the United States, where military options in Syria are on the agenda, along with other political and economic options to address the Syrian crisis. John Kerry yesterday, Tuesday, in Brussels said that although uh, there was no prospect of working with the Russians on a ceasefire, he said consultations with Russia would continue. And so it doesn't surprise me in the least that John Kerry was on the phone again with Sergei Lavrov. Uh, but that doesn't mean that they're going to come to any kind of an agreement. Um, for right now, the Russians seem more interested in the military option as opposed to the political option. Is it a good idea to be talking when so many are suggesting that uh, that seven-day ceasefire we saw uh, was simply the Russians playing the Americans? We can quibble about whether or not John Kerry's tactics with the Russians and, and being in regular contact with them hurts American credibility or not. But I think, frankly, until the United States finds a way to put real uh, pressure on the Syrian government and, and pressure on its allies, I don't see how John Kerry's diplomatic efforts will succeed, whether or not he talks to them every day or two.